Hello and welcome to Spooky Small Talk, a show where I, Ryan Bergara, get to interview some of the world's most fascinating people in one of the scariest places on the planet, a haunted attraction at Not Scary Farm. Today's guest is one of the Try Guys and an amazing performer and creator, Zach Kornfeld. You may know Zach from his nationwide tour, Legends of the Internet, or from his New York Times bestselling book, The Hidden Power of Effing Up or more likely as one of the charming Try Guys who have taken the internet by storm with 6.6 .6 million subscribers in just a year and a half. All right, Zach Kornfeld. So we know each other. Pretty from, well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we knew each other at BuzzFeed. Thank you for coming down here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I'm stoked. This is my first haunted house of the year, of the season. I'm happy your inaugural haunt is with us. Do you like screaming though? Because I love screaming. I love controlled risk. I love danger when it's in a controlled environment, which is what this is. You get all the adrenaline and yet there's no actual uh, harm that could come to you. Just some warnings. I'm gonna hold you. That's fair. You, by the way, have you been working out? Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. I mean, uh, I haven't, but thank you for noticing. I'm gonna scream and then every time I scream, I'm gonna giggle and jump. <laughs> Before we get in there, I'm just gonna hit you with the first question. It just, it's always a softball. Can you please defend your opinion that the Fast and the Furious franchise is the best franchise? Uh, here's a quote. Fast Five is the best movie ever made. That's something you said. <laughs> you know, I'm a man who speaks in hyperbole and I stick by it. Fast and Furious to me is just the most delightfully improbable franchise there is and you gotta love it for it. It started out as a point break ripoff, then it got worse and worse and worse and then in the fifth movie they nailed it? How does that happen? It defies logic and expectation. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get in there. Oh fuck, I don't... Uh, you, guys, you guys don't want to go ahead of us? Oh, no, they're going to catch up. All right. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right, now I'm scared. So, we are entering the maze now. <laughs> Tensions are running high. You have to walk with. If you stay close, the better, because we'll both be in the shot. All right, folks. We're here at Hayden Hill Sanitarium to investigate. Oh, it's okay. I actually do this for a living. I, awesome. I'm a ghost hunter for. Yeah, a he's a ghost okay. hunter. Anyways, when I do a ghost investigation, I'll normally introduce myself to the building. So I'll say like, "Hi, my name is Ryan Bergara." Jesus. No, really. Okay, I think we gotta go. Uh, so what were you like in high school? That's the best job. In high school, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. where did you come? Okay, let's go in here, let's go in here. In high school, I, oh my god. In high school, you know, I was kind of in between nerd and cool. Like, I was able to hang out with a lot of different people. I did drama club, I made weird movies with my friends. Yeah. I think I'm, I, you know, I've looked back at old movies that I made and I, my sense of humor has not changed. So you kind of always knew who you were. For you better or for worse, you know? I think for better, I think give yourself some credit, man. I didn't know who I was younger, I'll tell you. I definitely, oh my oh god. god, oh my god. Oh my oh god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus Christ, that is a horrifying laugh, sir. We have now arrived at our first segment, so if you could just have a seat right there on oh, the left. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. Now, if you could just have a seat on the left here. On the left, okay. Now, this. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This is, a, this is our first segment. This is a segment we call Fear and Flourish. This is about a time in your life where you faced an obstacle that kind of made you feel fear, but you persevered and succeeded anyway. Is there anything that kind of comes to mind? I definitely uh, <laughs> had fear and, and anxiety when we, we struck it on our own to make our new channel. I'm sure you're feeling similar things. Very similar, yeah. Um, but ultimately, it's one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. You know, you have to bet on yourself to... Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> It's so rude. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry if I... I... You want to switch? We can switch. Let's switch. <laughs> I'd love to switch. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Ryan. Oh, God. This, no. Yeah. How did you actually arrive at the decision to branch off? Like, what went into that thought process? It was a long time coming. I mean, it was a feeling that I, I wanted to keep growing, and to do that, I... Had to, I love this. I had to try something new, but ultimately the four of us came together. We talked about it and said, yeah, this is something we want to do. We want to keep mm -hmm. trying to expand and grow our brand. You have to kill the father to grow. You know, that's that's the Oedipus story, so. <laughs> I guess if you, if you want to compare it to that, I <laughs> yeah. You want to trade back? No, no, we're good. No, yeah. we're good. I put myself in this situation. Uh, I was... <laughs> yeah. Since you guys left, 
You now have, what, 6.4 million subscribers. You are your New York Times best-selling author with your guys' Boom. book. You guys are on a live tour around the country, so clearly yeah. betting on yourself worked out. It's been a hell of a year, and uh, it's, I mean, in the beginning it was like, I was figuring out, like, how, where am I gonna get a desk for people? Now it's, uh, you know, we're on tour in Milwaukee, and it's kind of crazy to, to look back at the things that I was worried about when we first started, and yeah. then how far we've been able to come in such a short amount of time. What's Milwaukee like? I liked Milwaukee. It was dope. <laughs> okay. Well, let's move on to the next. Goodbye, sir. Bye. Thank you I'll for having us. You, you were great, man. Yeah, thank you for having Watch us. Watch out for that. Oh, my oh God. God. <laughs> All right, goodbye. I always hope that, that they're not offended when I laugh. I, I laugh at scary things. It's, it's fun all, to get all scared. I can do. So speaking of younger Zach, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, okay. oh my God. All right, we gotta keep walking, yeah. Ryan. If, uh, younger Zach. I'm good, I, I had my shot today. I took mine at CVS, thank you. So we were talking about younger Zach in high school. Yeah. I remember you went to film school. Oh my God. And, uh, <laughs> hey, that's pretty good, right? <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, I went to film school. Uh, and back in the day, you did want to be a film director. Yeah. I did as well. Yeah. Um, and now you're in front of the camera. You're one of the most recognizable faces on the internet. It's weird how that happens. What yeah. do you think about dreams versus kind of being open to what life is giving you? That's that's super interesting. Yeah, my, my dreams look nothing like reality. I definitely have hopes of doing scripted work Thank in you. the near future. But you, just, you have to be open to what life gives you because whatever you expect, and I think, oh my what? god. <laughs> that, that one got you. Oh my god. <laughs> I was interested in what you were saying, yeah. This is, see, this is the funny thing about the show because as much as it is scaring you guys, I'm curious what you're saying and then I get lost in it. Anyways, what were you saying? I, I, I kind of believe it for, for content you're making but also the life you're living. Real life is always more interesting than what you have planned. Oh, I, oh, this is, speaking of, I, I have a bad feeling about this. This is a room of Me body. too. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's a nun, I didn't expect yeah, that. It's kind of oh out of my. character here, but the show must go on. Next question no, here. No, no. So, I'm Jewish, please stay away. What does that have to do with that? <laughs> because it's a nun, I don't believe in oh, her. Oh, that's fair. Uh, so recently you made a video about balding and yeah. the, the procedures you went to kind of combat that. You also have made a video about your autoimmune disease. No, you got, no, no, Ankle, no, no, ankylo, uh, Ankylosing spondylitis? Ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Well, I think he thinks you nailed that pronunciation. Anyways. You know what's funny is that the first video I put out, I mispronounced the disease. You did, that's why yeah, I said yeah. it that way. Yeah. Anyways. What are you guys doing here? We're just it's answering some questions. You guys have to get out of here. Do you need help? I messed it up, I'm sorry. What did you mess up? I didn't mean for this. I oh! 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 <laughs> Anyways, how did you arrive at the conclusion to share that with your audience, to go public all that, all that stuff? You know, uh... <laughs> Focus, Zach. Focus. It's hard to, Focus. it's hard to. <laughs> At the end of the day, I, I think it's a really tremendous privilege and an opportunity and an honor to be able to share things about yourself that you're struggling with. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring it back. When I was a kid, I, I struggled with depression as well, and yeah. I had OCD. Yeah. And I was in a health class where there was a list of, of the greatest, some of the greatest directors, writers, thinkers of all time, people that I really admired, and they were on yeah. a list also having the same mental health problems as me. Yeah. There are people who had OCD, and I saw that. It meant so much to me as a kid that I thought, if I'm ever in that position, I want to be able to return the favor. That's pretty admirable so that you can make people feel comfortable the same way you felt comfort when you were a younger kid. I don't think it's a responsibility so much as it is a, an opportunity. It's, a, it's that's yeah. a better way to yeah. describe it. Yeah. And so it. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> yo, 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 yo! <laughs> Can you ride just real quick? I, you look kind of like the Night King. Well, but, he kind of looks like Groot. Yeah, the like, Night Night King and Groot had a baby. You are like some Guillermo del Toro shit. Oh no! Oh. Oh no. god! Oh my God! This uh, this is bad. But I think that's I think that's a good bad. way to describe it. It's an opportunity. Yeah, and so I I've really been I mean it's the most among the most impactful videos I've ever made, and to see uh, the way that it's touched people has really meant the world to me. Hi hi dear. Why not? Oh boy. 
Actually, we're about to hit our next segment here, so I'll save okay. this question for after we hit the break. So long, you, you stay cool, I guess. I don't know what you say to demons. Anyways, here's our second segment. Let's have a seat over there. Are you a demon? I mean, she has white eyes, man. She could be possessed. Doesn't That's mean that true. she's I a mean, demon. Uh, look, I'm the expert. She could be, she could just Zach, have a- Zach, I've seen a demon. Of course. Okay. 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 <laughs> we have now arrived at our second segment. This is a segment we call Career Crush. This is where you talk about somebody whose career you admire. It does not have to be within your field. Just somebody that inspires you. Is there anybody that fits that bill for you? God, I'm so impressed with Donald Glover. I don't know how you, you can't not be. That's a good be. one. Uh, I just think he's amazing. I saw him in concert, and every inch of his body is captivating. He's such an unbelievable performer. Then to also be so good at, at to be that good at music, and also yeah. make the best TV show, and then also be a great actor. He's kind of a multi-hyphenate, which is what yeah. you are, I think. Yeah, or at least aspire to be. I, don't, I think it's safe to say you're a multi-hyphenate. You're one of the most successful creators on the internet, one of the most successful presenters, oh, or performers, I should say. I said presenters as if we were in the UK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, is there anything besides like his talent that inspires you, like maybe the way he goes about things? You know, okay, a couple things about him too is that I think he has this courage to end projects early. <laughs> like that's such a hard thing as a creative person to say, hey, I'm only gonna do this twice and now it's over. And I see. That's something that I, I certainly lack. I like to do more writing work, I'd like to do more animation work. That's a big goal of mine for this next year. Uh, oh, Lord and Miller, those are the guys. I love them so much. A bonus career crush. If you don't know, <laughs> man oh man, I love those guys with all my heart. I was in an elevator with them once and I just was like, I, I love the Lego movie. And it was like, <laughs> take it easy. Cool, man. It's fucking hot here. That movie meant a lot. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> Uh, got me. Anyways, we should continue the interview. <gasps> Lord of Miller, though. Moving on here. Okay, all right, we're going. That's a thing. I don't know if that's a, a live or a... Here's a, here's a quote from an interview you did with Health Central about your autoimmune disease and how it affected your work life. Work life, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Quote, a lot of success of our show is built on a ton of late night editing and that's just not feasible anymore. My body lets me know now. It's time to stop working. Wow, that's amazing. It's pretty good. Working life balance on YouTube is actually just a hard thing to do. And I'm so, f I'm. This so is the end. I think it's the they end. They usually, ah, ah, that's, that's the one. <laughs> Sir, that's, thank you for your, your service. That service? You just kidding. Okay. Ryan, we made it, we're alive. Yeah, work life balance, it, it's ironic that starting a company, I'm, no, I don't feel safe. What was the first time that I was able to find work life balance? I think for so much of my early life, the only thing that I derived happiness out of was yeah. my creative output and you know, my pain forced me to reevaluate that. Having a girlfriend allowed me the privilege to reevaluate that and see that there are the things that, that can make you happy. Sometimes it takes like an like an extraordinary life circumstance to make you take care of yourself. Yeah, and you have to refresh yourself if you want to have stories to tell. Uh, That's true. Or else you're just going to be a, a burnt fuse and what's the point? Anyways, we made it to the end of the maze, Zach. We survived. I just want to say thank you so much that for coming great. out. Thank you for putting up with all of that and all my antics. Dude, I'm yeah. down to go right back and do it again if it you want. It It's a fun maze. I love that. You guys, I'm staying here all night. You guys want to party? <laughs> you want to get spooked? Mark, what are you doing? I'm going home. Come on. You just, you hitting on my camera, man? I'm not hitting on him. I'm just talking to the guy. That's yeah. fair. Okay, all right. Like I said, thank you for coming down. I'm a big fan of you. I've always been a big fan of you, and I'm Thanks, just excited man. to see what you do. Well, so. I hope this channel doesn't suck. Me too. <laughs> that might be the scariest thing about this. <laughs> no, we're proud of you. Good luck, man. This is awesome.